egg spot. For this project, we'll need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. I always begin by removing the AC adapter and the battery. Remove the two screws that hold the center control power button cover to the base of the computer. Unscrew the four screws holding the bottom base access cover. Remove the cover starting from right to left. Remove the two hinge screws holding the LCD display assembly to the base of the laptop. Disconnect the antenna wires from the mini wireless cards. Loosen the antenna cables from the base assembly antenna routing channels. Turn the computer over and fully open the display flattening out as far as possible. Unsnap the power button cover using the small flathead screwdriver. Lift the power button cover starting from right to left. Remove the two retaining screws above the keyboard. Gently lift the keyboard up to reveal the ribbon below. Be careful lifting the keyboard because it is very easy to cause damage to the ribbon cable and to the motherboard connector. Lift the keyboard cable connector latch and remove the keyboard ribbon cable and keyboard. Slide the antenna wires out of the motherboard and loosen them from the top of the routing channels of the laptop. Disconnect and remove the display and camera cable from the motherboard. Unscrew the four waffle hinge screws from the left and the right display hinge. Lift the LCD display assembly off the bottom base. Align the display hinges to the bottom base and seat carefully. Replace the four waffle hinge screws on the left and the right display hinge. Reroute the video cable and camera cable, connecting it to the motherboard. Reroute the antenna cables through the upper routing channels. Pass the antenna cables through the motherboard to the bottom. Place the keyboard cable into the motherboard connector. Press down on the latch. Next, place the keyboard into the palm rest, aligning the tabs on the bottom to the palm rest. Replace the two screws at the top of the keyboard. Place the power button cover onto the laptop, starting from the left side, moving to the right side while snapping it into place. Next, close the lid and flip the laptop over. Reroute the antenna cables through the bottom routing channel. Connect the antennas to the mini wireless card.
screw in the two screws that hold the display assembly to the base of the laptop. Replace the two screws that hold the power button cover to the laptop base assembly. Place the bottom base access cover onto the base assembly starting from left to right. Tighten the four screws. Insert the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.